find out why. Remember when first-person shooters were just about straightforward, uncomplicated fun? When there were no sinister terrorist plots, and artists used colours other than grey and brown, and nobody ever said Oscar Mike? Body count remembers. It's a throwback to the arcade-style FPS, with ludicrous superpowers like explosive bullets and invulnerability, super enemies that can soak up entire clips of ammunition, and big, badass guns that take up a quarter of the screen. Enemies explode in showers of collectible orbs that make a lovely tinkling sound when you collect them. Forget military operations, forget real-world settings, forget restraint. Body Count comes out all guns blazing. Body Count's big thing is its shredding system. Destructibility, in other words. Unlike in, say, Battlefield Bad Company 2, where you have to fire patiently at building supports for about six minutes before they eventually collapse, buildings in Body Count cannot wait to blow apart in spectacular fashion. For instance, I don't like this wall. And now it's gone. Double tapping the grenade button launches a charge that explodes on impact, which makes targeted destruction easier. This is teamed with an unusual cover system. Holding the left trigger roots you to the spot, letting you use the left analogue to peek over and around walls. It takes a bit of time to get used to, but hopefully, over the course of the entire campaign, it will come to feel natural. It also makes the levels more open plan. You can carve your own way through, creating shortcuts for yourself. If you come back through the same area later, perhaps whilst making an escape, everything is just how you left it. Which is not always a good thing if you've already blown up all your cover. Body Count's environments are varied and colourful, certainly more so than most shooters. There's a cool aesthetic contrast between the indoor levels and the sprawling outdoor ones. With that, we own the target. I've seen two distinct enemy types so far. The target are black-clad super-soldiers holed up in structures made mostly of glass, which shatters very nicely indeed upon contact with bullets. Outside, you're up against the militia, who are not as smart, but much more numerous. It's all about the guns, really. Body Count's weaponry feels fantastic. The attention to detail on weapons is actually slightly worrying, and they're really satisfying to fire. The camera lingers on them for long, loving reload animations, showing them off to full effect. In terms of sheer differentiation, Body Count is more exciting than any other FPS in years. It's nothing like anything else on this year's release schedule. It looks different, it feels different, and its arcade sensibilities are a breath of fresh air in a genre that's felt a bit stale for a while. All in all, I can confidently say it's going to be a blast. <laughs>